tell us how you're feeling, Mitch? Uh, just really proud of the players and um, really looking forward to seeing them enjoy the week ahead and you know, getting into a preparation again and uh, you know, playing in a big game. Some of your fans are worried at 12-0, were you? Uh, no, <laughs> actually. Um, the players, uh, yeah, we've worked all year for this, this type of arena and we've spoken about it. Uh, yeah, we've been in games in this situation before and uh, yeah, I'm very, very uh, confident and I have a lot of belief in the players about how they go about things at the moment and they showed that. 12-0 uh, down, we just had his game the momentum back and they did that and they did it very well. Greg, what were you thinking after the second try? The second Rooster try? That is? Yeah. I just knew you know, we had to stick to our process and you know, believe in our game plan. And you know, full credit to our boys. You know, that's what we did. Um, we just knew we had to get them, find a way to get back in the game and you know, um, I believe our um, house controlled the game and you know, really let us through the field. Mate, how important was that, that tackle by Sam uh, that was an inspiration, that, that one. That was a beauty. Uh, Sam's been doing plays like that uh, all year for us, and obviously he's been here. And, uh, it, was a, it was a big play. You know, it was obviously there to be seen, but uh, you know, those sorts of things make these games. And uh, you know, each of the players beside me came up with various plays that were required, and I thought it was just a real team effort tonight where they just stuck strong. Uh, in those periods where they came at us, uh, they just found a way. Match, how much of an impact did Ben T.O. have on Oh, he had a huge impact. I thought when he came on, he made a... Um, significant impact in, in how he ran the ball and obviously how he defended. John, you were nodding at Sam Burch's tackle there. Did it feel like a turning point out there? Oh, it was great. It was on the, you know, straight at half time. And, um, you know, it took some you know, great belief going into the half. You know, it's, you know, Sam, like Max says, been doing those plays all year and just wanted, you know, it was a great play. And, um, you know, I'm just I'm very proud of how the boys played out there. And, um, you know, we haven't, we haven't done much yet. We haven't done anything yet. So. Uh, but we haven't got any deal of the week. How much does this mean, Sunday, for the last two years to get over this sort of... Oh, look, it's great, you know. <clears throat> yeah, the last two years were tough, but, um, you know, we've got a different group and, you know, we're very tight. And, you know, we showed tonight we're after 12 nil to fight back and, you know, you know, run away with the game. I thought, um, you know, it was a great effort. For you personally, John, to, to, to be here for this week after so many years at the club and the whole life in the, in the region, it's been... Oh, it's great, you know, um, just seeing mum and dad, mum was crying and, um, you know, I've been around this <coughs> club for a long time and, you know, it's, a, it's going to be a you know, special week for myself and, you know, all the players, but uh, like I said, I'm just going to you know, enjoy it and, you know, make sure I do everything right to get the best possible performance next week. Well, how much were concerns in the report? Uh, oh, I don't think there was much in that at all. Uh, I don't know my comment, but I didn't think there was too much in that. John, you've got all the four players going to huddle at the end. What was it uh, I pretty much just said we haven't done anything, achieved nothing yet. You know, um, you know, it was a great win by the boys and great effort to fight back and get the win, but um, we haven't achieved nothing, so, you know, that was pretty much it. Well, mate, how did you sort of, you tempered the excitement with the fans and everything to give Minnie that guard of honour? How did you sort of arrange that? I was actually, sorry, I was doing an um, uh, interview and I sort of ran over there late, but, um, you know, all the boys respect um, like Minnie's done in the game. He's been a great player for this game, for his club and for, like I said, for the game. But, um, you know, we everyone wanted to show, um, <coughs> you know, their true colours and um, the go to honour for him. Badge, how tough is it going to be to keep a lid on this week? Because you've got a lot of people pretty excited outside. Uh, I imagine it's going to be tough to keep a lot of external uh, expectation out of the group. We've been doing it every week, you know, Kendi, I think, yeah. Even this week, you know, there's all sorts of talk and um, the two players beside me lead a lot of the uh, stuff um, internal and for us as players and staff, it's quite easy to keep a lid on it because, you know, as John sort of alluded to, we, we haven't achieved yet and it's about building this week. But for everyone outside, enjoy it. What would your advice be to, to, to your younger teammates and I guess to most of your teammates who haven't been there before? Oh, I think it's just more embrace it and have fun. You know, enjoy it. You know, this week the game's gonna come up really quick. So just take everything in as, as it comes. You know, when it's time to train, it's time to train, but with downtime just sit back and you know, really enjoy the week. But um you know, as these two beside me keep saying we haven't achieved anything yet, so you know, we just gotta heads down, bums up, and like I said, when it's time to train, it's time to train. How are you expecting it to be different from down in Melbourne? Different colour of players. That's why it's different.
I know all the all the stuff around it now that you're, now that you're in Sydney with South. We just got to block all the external stuff out and just worry about what we can do in our circle. So, thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thanks.